Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is David's Closet. For those of you who are new here, I like to talk about handbags, accessories, and all of those fun things from the male point of view. So if that's something that's interesting to you, please subscribe, comment, like, share, do all of the things. And if you're returning and you already subscribed and do all of the things, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Um, before I get started, tonight's video, or today's video, let's see, um, is a unboxing, but it's not really an unboxing. It's more of an unveiling. I ordered this bag earlier this week. It's Saturday right now when I'm filming this video is for tomorrow. And it came in today and the box was mutilated. So before the UPS guy left, I opened it to make sure that the item was actually inside because it was just pretty beat up. Um, and just at a glance that it looked okay. So I'm not gonna be able to unbox it, but I am gonna show you, and I'm also gonna preface this with more than likely I'm returning this bag. Um, I'll kind of get into that when I actually show it to you, but this bag I do believe is going to be returned. So stay tuned. I also wanna apologize for the lighting, my hair, everything. It's pretty late, it's about nine o'clock p.m. here. I was gonna film this in the morning, but I have a little bit of time not quite ready for bed yet so I thought I could get some of the filming out of the way tonight and maybe finish tomorrow or whatever I need to do. So there's no light, natural light coming into the room from anywhere um, so we're dependent on my artificial lighting. So this video is probably going to be pretty short um, and all of that stuff. So here is the bag inside of the ever so known fashion file dust bag. Um, here it is, came in a box. As I said, the box was damaged, so we're not gonna have that opportunity. Um, inside, you'll see some of my lovely charcoal packs. Um, and you'll understand why those are in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get into it here and make sure it's at least the right direction. So here it is. So this is the Louis Vuitton Treville and it's like a little mini suitcase and I believe this collection came out in 2005 is what this bag is dated and um, it was actually designed and there was a line of these. I think there's also the, De the Dalville um, and maybe a few more that were designed to look like smaller pieces of luggage. Um, but be a handbag. So before I get into the video, the bag itself is in excellent condition. Um, there is some edge wear, but that's to be expected on a bag. Um, the edge wear is on the piping. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. I can never really get it to show up very well. Um, maybe a little bit there. You can see a little bit of rubbing there. Um, one of the places where it's most prominent is right up along here. Um, again, I don't know how well it's coming off on video, but overall the back is in really good shape. The patina is pretty even. Um, there's some scratching and scuffing on the leather. That does not bother me, that's Vachetta. Um, the canvas looks to be in excellent condition. I can't find a flaw with that. Where this bag has a flaw is the smell. It smells like crayons. And I don't know if that could be just musty, that could be cosmetics, I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess someone had this stored somewhere improperly and that's why it has this odor because it's outside and inside. And it's pretty strong and I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it out. Um, but I'm really sad because this bag is just so cute. So um, here's the lovely little fashion file tag. Um, up front, it has a, just a slip pocket. The interior of the bag, and we'll see it better in the inside, it's kind of a coated canvas, and it's pretty strong in that pocket too. It's just a little musty, and it didn't state that on the Fashion Fire website, which really disappoints me a lot. <sighs> so it has the luggage pull, or the zipper pulls here with the LV on it. Uh, looks just like the zipper pulls from my Speedy Bandolier. The zipper goes all the way down the side on both sides 
and it opens nice and big here so you can get all the things out of it. And you'll see in there my charcoal packs. Ooh, strong. So inside, you have one big compartment and you can kind of see there's a reflection on the interior. It's a coated canvas, so it's not a raw canvas um, and it's not coated the same as the outside. It's not as thick feeling, um, but there is a coating on it and it also goes inside the pockets. But the the back side, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, but the back side of this where my finger is rubbing is not coated, but everything else is coated. There is some leather trim in there. There's the Louis Vuitton stamp. This is a made in France piece. And then down in this pocket where my hand is, you're not gonna be able to see it, is the date code. Um, I want to look at it, so I'm gonna try to see it here. BA0015, so France in the first week of 2005 is when this bag was made. And then on the other side, you have the same two little pockets. Um, they're a little bit bigger than a slip pocket. Um, the base doesn't have any real structure, but it's pretty thick canvas. Both layers at the bottom feel pretty thick. Um, so I think you could probably get away without an organizer. If I was gonna keep this, I was going to buy an organizer from Zumani for it. Um, but like I said, I'm just not going to because of the odor, but here she is. She's super pretty. Um, I'm kind of bummed because I really want one of these bags and there's another one for sale right now, but I have a Fashion File gift card that I use and in order to continue using the Fashion File gift card um, or to reuse it or whatever, I have to wait till the refund's issued before I can go order something else. So um, I can't even order the other one right now and then you know, have the refund kind of counter balance everything um, because that refund, my gift card will just be refunded to me. And then, <coughs> well, I won't, I won't have, I'll be in the same predicament I was in before where I have this gift card that I need to use and I can't use it because there's nothing I want. So pretty bummed about it. Um, you know, maybe when I return it, if the other one's available, I may consider ordering it. I don't know if that's just going to be a common issue with these bags, but pretty disappointed. Fashion File, I have, you know, been very pro Fashion File. Um, and normally, I would say 90% of the time, I feel that things are represented very well. Um, you know, I get a bag and I feel like, I feel like I was not bamboozled, so to speak. And if it wasn't for the odor of this bag, I would feel like I got a heck of a deal, um, which I will go over what I spent real quick. So this bag was $695. Um, that was the original price. It wasn't a bag that was marked down and has sat for a while. Um, when you look at how many people have liked the bag, I was the only one. So I don't think it was on there long before I ordered it. And um, I was just really excited. I really like the Deauville. I think that's how you say it, the larger one. But I know someone who has one and that bag is too big for me. And I didn't really even know this one existed until it popped up. So I absolutely love the bag. The size, the shape, everything is perfect. Um, so I'm just pretty bummed. And for $6.95, it's an excellent condition. I mean, there's not anything here that I would say is worthy of a return except for this scent that I can't get to go away. So I really wish Fashion File would kind of improve or revert back to the way they used to represent bags because the first handful that I ordered, everything was accurately, you know, described. Any flaws, any issues with them, I had no concerns. And now I'm getting a little bit nervous every time I order a bag. So it's going to take a minute for me to kind of feel like I can trust them again. I do have a gift card there, so I will be ordering something at some point once I can get this returned and all of that stuff. Um, but pretty disappointed. So if Fashion Files is watching this, please start listing all of the things that are wrong with these bags because this is really, really frustrating um, to have to return them. I do not like returning things. I absolutely despise it. 
and I am just very disappointed that some of these items that I've been ordering have not been represented well. And here's the thing. I do not expect perfection. The one thing I will not buy though is a bag that lists any form of odor. Cologne odor, musty odor, herbal odors I've seen listed, um, cigarette odor. I do not buy bags that have odors because I have a sensitive nose and I do not like that. So if I would have known that this had an odor, I probably would have ordered the other one that was available. That's the same price. And the difference between this one and that one is the Vachetta on that one is a little bit darker and maybe a little bit more scuffed up in a few spots. But if that one truly doesn't have an odor and this one does, I'd rather have that one. So I wish they would just accurately, just accurately describe these bags. You know, you see other YouTubers that are say they're okay buying the bags with the funky odor. Um, it doesn't bother them. I know Autumn Beckman says that she's, you know, good at getting the odors out. Um, she doesn't really have any issues with them. And for people like that, I think that's amazing that they can do that and that they have the time to do that. But I don't, and that's not something that I am okay with. I'd rather have a bag that maybe has a few more cosmetic flaws and doesn't have a foul odor. Um, so I'm just pretty disappointed overall. And... Um, I am going to put my charcoal packs in there and I'm going to put one inside of the dust bag and let it sit in my closet for a couple of days before I officially return it. Um, I know that's not going to do anything. This process can take weeks, months, or even years to get odors out of bags. And that's the problem is I have 30 days to return it. So I'm going to give it a couple of days and just see if it feels like maybe it's getting any better, you know, and if it is, then maybe I've changed my mind, but I don't foresee that because I just know myself and I don't want to put things inside of this bag that are going to take on that smell. So for example, my Louis Vuitton Sarah wallet is obviously what I'm going to carry with this. That was a brand new wallet. I don't want it to smell like this bag because then it takes on this odor and every bag I carry it in, the odor will transfer from that Sarah wallet to bag to bag to bag. So, um, and it's just, it's strong. So, um, that's, that's something that I'm a little bit bummed about. I don't really know if there's any tricks to get these odors out. Um, if you know anything that's like kind of foolproof because my concern is, you know, I'll wait 30 days and it still will be icky. Um, and then I'm stuck with it because at that point I can't return it and I can sell it back and lose about a hundred dollars because of the, the buyback program that they have. So if you know of anything, I would love, love, love some advice. But isn't she so cute? I'm so bummed, guys. Ugh. I'm so bummed. This is a vintage bag that I really like. The zipper is really smooth, so that's, you know, positive. So, I'm just disappointed, guys. Um, I don't know, don't really have much else to say. Um, but if you know anything that I can maybe try before my um, return window closes, let me know because I really do want to keep it. I love this bag, but like I said, I just know that I won't feel comfortable using it. And I know it's silly, but I don't want other items to take on any weird funky smells. And I also don't want this in my closet next to other bags transferring the smell. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching and um, follow, do all of the things. And I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.